Hey everybody, welcome, thanks for joining in today. So today I want to introduce you to a build I recently put together. So this is for a person who is a designer, um, production person. So this person does a lot of Photoshop, video production, 3D rendering, and also overall, you know, for this, he's not a very computer person. So if you told this person to put a computer together, uh, he would not be able to do it. But with the application the person uses, it's, he's very, very good and very effective and efficient. So that was the intended mindset putting this computer together. So if you're interested in putting, uh, building your own AMD computer, which um, I am really satisfied with this build. And if you really want to do it, um, I'll introduce you to the parts and you can kind of decide if you want to put it together. And it was very easy to use unless, you know, you know, putting your fingers through the motherboard can be a little tricky sometimes, but you know, it's pretty easy to build. It doesn't take very long. Everything is pretty much labeled. I remember the days when, you know, you had to kind of figure out where you put the cables on the motherboard, but now everything is labeled very clearly. It's very easy. So yeah, let me show you what went into this computer. So to start off in the computer, we have an AMD Ryzen 3700X. So this uh, CPU is very powerful. It is an octa-core uh, CPU with 16 threads, so definitely very capable. And look at that, it comes with a really cool stock cooler. Typically, you know, I don't usually use stock, especially with Intel. Intel's coolers are garbage, pretty much, in my opinion. But look at this cooler. It has RGB lighting, has various options to plug into the motherboard for the lighting. And it was really easy to put together, very, very easy. You know, it comes with this, you know, thermal paste is already pre-applied and I'm just gonna try it out and so far it seems to be running really good. So you know I was gonna try it out first and then if it's, I think it's not that great I was gonna swap out the cooler to a third party but so far it's running really good so I actually kinda like it. And for the RAM I do have DDR4 this is um, Kingston HyperX RAM it is 2666 uh, megahertz RAM. The reason I went with this is because that person who's going to be using this computer is not going to be wanting to deal with XMP. Just wants to plug and play and do his thing. Okay, so that's why I went with this. Nothing fancy, not a gamer, just somebody who needs a computer. And this was really cheap. I mean, you don't have to spend more money than you need to. And we have the MSI MPG X570 motherboard. I was considering going with the X470 or the B. There's B450, These are those are the other previous generation motherboards, cheaper. But you know, we're going to be putting a Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 7 3700X. Might as well go with something that's, you know, more powerful, more potent, and, you know, future proof in a way. And here we have two uh, storage. For the primary, I have something called the Samsung PM981. This is the equivalent of the Samsung Evo 970. This is typically what you would find in um, what vendors, you know, like Dell or Lenovo would have and put in their computers. This was new for $30, 256 gigabytes. Um, if you don't have, if you're, you know, comfortable and you don't have to always get the Samsung Evos, just go with this. This is the equivalent. This is what the enterprises would get. Here we have the secondary drive. This is where all the photos, videos, scratch disk is probably going to be for that user. And this is one terabyte WD Blue, uh, very good value SSD. And for the graphics, we went with the RTX 2060. This person is not going to be gaming, mostly Blender, DaVinci, Photoshop. And for the price and value, I think this is more than enough. And for the power supply, we went with the Corsair CX650. And to house all this, I have an NZXT 510. Very good price, not expensive. It's not the i version. This is, I don't need that. I just need something that will house this. Nothing glowing, nothing fancy. This is a professional setting. You know, something we want subtlety. So this is a black case too, the black mat case. It's about 70 bucks. I mean, very one of the, you know, it's not expensive. I think it's a very good price. So all this, all this, we're looking at about one th under 1,300. And that is including the purchase of a Windows 10 uh, license key, Windows 10 Pro license key.
So to start off, I'm going to remove this motherboard stand, which is kind of interesting. It has the hole blocked, the screw blocked, which I do need to put the M.2 heatsink on for the motherboard. So this is going to come off. I'm going to replace with this one that did come with the motherboard. So I can put a screw in for the stand. So this came with the motherboard. This is a stand for the M.2 heatsink. So I'm gonna install this where I replaced the motherboard stand behind this hole. See the second hard drive is right there. Used all the cable I needed from the power supply and it tucked in what I did need. I'm gonna give a tour of the case. This is the H510 by NZXT. The cool thing is this whole thing is metal. There is no plastic. All metal and tempered glass right there. The only plastic is actually the feet. Okay, in the front, you have a plain, just blank panel with a subtle NZXT logo right there. Up top, we have the power button, USB 3.1, USB 3.1, Type-C, and we have three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You can see the exhaust fan uh, right there. On the back, see this is where the IO shield goes for the motherboard. Exhaust fan over here. The top and the side exhaust, the top and the back exhaust fans are uh, 120 millimeter, I believe. You can see the PCI slots on the back. That's where the graphic card would rest, not on the top, but on the second, third one. And power supply sits right there. Other side, it's blank, but you have the intake that goes right here. Just one intake. And I think that's kind of good because when you sit like this, there, because there's no intake here, it's pretty quiet because all of it happens on the other side. And under here, there is a dust filter for the power supply, which sits right there. Inside the build, you can see the CPU cooler right there. That's where the AMD Ryzen 3700X is. Two 8 gig DDR4 HyperXs. Back there, I hope you can see better now, is there's a dust filter right there for the intake. 120 millimeter fan and there is no dust filter unfortunately so in this case if you do want dust filter you might have to get like a mesh and put it inside there so these both are 120 millimeter fans here's the RTX 2060 and if you want to put a uh, AIO or put more case fans you don't have to pop up the front you can actually unscrew these here thumb screws pop them slide it out Install, slide it in, and you can put the screws back on. So very, very good case for easy building. And the motherboard is very well labeled. So you, I did not really need the manual. I just need to know where the plug-in, you know, the, the cables for the case already come labeled. And also the motherboard is already labeled. So it was pretty easy to find it, where to put in. Okay, I wanted to show you the AMD cooler, the Wraith Prism. And I have it plugged in through USB uh, from the cooler to the motherboard and so far it's running really great it's very cool very quiet and the colors are dynamic so it's really nice to look at um, I'll let it up to the user leave it up to the user to decide if he wants to keep it on or off but that's pretty much the only lighting that's gonna happen in this case so thanks for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it give me a thumbs up if you have any questions let me uh, know and I can do my best to answer them well again thanks for joining in and I'll see you guys next time